The prospect of an NFL lockout has city officials from Miami to San Diego begging the league to avoid a work stoppage they claim would cost their cities millions in lost tax revenue and wages. If we don't get this uh, football season going, it's another impact, it's another hit, it's another straw on our back that, um, that really could you know, literally break us when it comes to our, our economy this next year. San Diego officials estimate the Chargers generate at least $100 million in local spending. The mayor of Minneapolis says the Vikings helped bring in $48 million in downtown spending in the regular season. And Houston's mayor says Texans games generate $250 million that's spent on restaurants and other entertainment. And that business helps fund the bonds issued to subsidize some stadiums. Taxes on hotel and car rentals help back the bonds on the Texans' Reliant Stadium. Alcohol and tobacco taxes help finance the Cleveland Browns stadium. The city of Cleveland, which has had to cut firefighters for budget purposes, refinanced over $180 million in stadium debt last year. The Browns paid no property tax on the stadium, which is tax exempt, according to state law. Economists we've spoke to agreed losing an NFL season doesn't just hurt teams and players, but could hurt city coffers. Well, every time somebody rents a hotel room, they pay a hotel tax. Every time somebody buys a drink in a bar, there's some sales tax. Um, there, so there's an additional hit on local government finances uh, if the business is lost. Official documents indicate cities like Cleveland would continue to pay stadium subsidies even if there's no NFL season. It is a beautiful view. Well, Michelle is here with us from Washington with the latest on these labor negotiations. Michelle, what, is, what are you hearing? Well, the nation's capital this morning, Betty, is the capital of football as the two sides, the players and the owners, meet with a federal mediator again. Now, the players, got to mention, won a big victory last night after Judge David Doty overturned a decision that would have protected $4 billion in television network payments to the National Football League. Now, the owners have a meeting at 3 p.m. Eastern in Dulles, Virginia this afternoon. We will be there. We'll get the first sense of really how that changes the dynamic between the the players and the owners. Less money for these owners next season could mean a shorter lockout or no lockout at all. Betty. Well, we will see. Michelle, thank you.